Well, this project's going to <clears throat> move a little further away from bowls and boxes. Do something a little different. I'm not through with bowls or boxes either one, but kind of like to mix things up. I just got in my latest issue of scroll saw woodworking and crafts, which will be the fall issue, I believe, 2024. And uh, saw this uh, this project in there in the, in the beginning. Uh, somewhere there's a nice picture of that. This is a little biplane. It's uh, layered with a lot of different uh, decorative parts. I've done a couple of biplanes. Uh, not anything this elaborate. Anyway, there's there's his picture of his. I don't have the same woods that he have. He used smalted maple. Uh, what I've got is a for the body is a, a it's a walnut. It's a real light, strange walnut. I've used uh, used one piece of that in a bowl. It makes a nice looking piece if you can get it to say it's kind of funny. It sounds funny. But that's what the body's made of, and I'm mixing and matching scrap. I'm not going to have the same colors. Not gonna, everything going to match exactly the same as his. This is going to be a fairly large one. As you can see, that's the body, and that's the wing, uh, top wing, and then you got the lower wing. But uh, then a whole lot of smaller parts. These these are decorative covers. Go on the side of the the body. That's the propeller. So I spent the better part of a day. Just uh, selecting the wood, trying to dig through my scrap, find wood that would I could match up, get uh, the similar pieces out of the same wood, and get the right thicknesses. It goes, he he layered to uh, three uh, quarter inch pieces for the body. I'm gonna use a piece of quarter inch for the body, and uh, then it needs some one eighth, a little bit of one half, and a lot of quarter inch. Um, so I've got mahogany and walnut and some. Other strange woods, I don't even know what they are. They came in seconds packages. But, as like I say, a better part of the day gathering the wood, mounting the patterns, and uh, drilling the holes. But that's all done. And uh, Some of these are layered so I can get multiple pieces. Uh, one of them could take six, six of the same. So I, I layered it, doubled it, and cut, made three patterns. Same thing here. These were four of each, so I layered it and put two patterns and then these is just a double and that's the main body or what covers the main body so anyway i'm gonna get over there and start the cutting we'll start with a number five because i've already got a fresh five in the in the machine but i've got some areas here that i'm gonna have to go with a smaller uh smaller blade i'll move down to a three at some point and i'll get these smaller openings but I'll start out with a five and get all the big stuff that I can before I have to change blades. It's going to be a lot of cutting and then a lot of uh, assembly. But I think it's going to look really nice when I get it done. It's going to be something different. It's not intended to be an exact replica. It's what he says, a, a perfect replica of a real thing. He just wanted these geometric uh, fret layers and it, even the parts will move the propeller and the wheels. So let me get over to the, uh, I'll start with the body. I'll get over to the saw and I'll start cutting these parts out. And this will be a multi-day just cutting process, I believe. So um, I'm getting start about a week earlier than I normally do. Or not a week earlier, but three or four days earlier. Uh, usually I'm just now posting last week, this week's video. So I'm getting a little bit ahead. And I'll see if I can make this look okay.
I've got it all cut out. <clears throat> I've defuzzed everything. There's a lot of a lot of uh, sanding on the background of some of those. I've drilled holes, and there's a preliminary hole just to mark the spot as much as anything. Of course, these wheels will go on that, and this is the propeller will go right there. I haven't figured out what I'm going to use for the axles or the shaft yet. Um, I'm still kind of looking through my junk to see what kind of nails or brads or whatever I've got. Try to make it, make the right size hole and make it look nice and still be movable. So he's got a step-by-step -step guide on gluing this together. And I'm going to start doing that a little at a time because you're going to put a piece together or a couple of pieces and uh, let it set long enough to move on to the next one. Now this is going to be raised up. Up like that, you got these these pieces right here that the struts that hold that upper wing up, and then you got all these directive pieces that go out like on the end of the wings, and these go on the side of the body, and then you got a bunch of these that go on the all the uh, stabilizers and everything in the back, and we've got this little skid that that goes on the bottom and the back. So it's a lot of little pieces to glue. It's not real complex, but it's going to take a little time. And I'm going to move slowly through it, make sure I get it right as I go. Well, there it is. It is constructed. Uh, it's all put together, it's glued. I got I got some cleaning up to do on it. Some a few fuzzies and places to clean up. There was a little light sanding, <clears throat> nothing major, but uh, it rolls. The propeller works. I used a little wire nail as as actual in both of them. I got a little bit of tiny bit of super glue on the end of it inside. Same thing on the on the wheels. So I need to put a finish on it. That's going to be problematic this week. We're having very unusual weather. It's July in East Texas, and it is 30, 35 degrees cooler today than it was the same day last year. Uh, 35, maybe even more. We were in 106, 108 last year. It is 70, 
75 or 74 degrees right now. It's been raining straight for two days. It's been cool for a week. It just doesn't happen in July. Uh, we had a hurricane two weeks ago yesterday. So it's really kind of upside down weather. And I do my finishing outside. It's usually not a problem this time of year, but I'm not sure when I'll get to that right now. Hopefully up tomorrow, maybe I can get a little brief dry spell and I'll finish this video. But that remains to be seen. So next time you see it, I'll have it cleaned up somewhat and I'll uh, have a finish on it. So stay tuned. I'll get back with it as soon as I can. Okay, in spite of the weather, I managed to get a couple of coats of finish on it. Still need to do more. As you spray on projects like this, of course you find places you need to sand a little better, or retouch up and uh, spray it again. And when I take a video of something I've done, I can see more in the video than I can see with the bare eye and the things I need to do. But anyway, I'm gonna call this for the, uh, for the video because while I was out doing this, sun was shining and then it started raining again. So uh, not hard, but just enough to keep you from doing something like this. I brought it in, did a little bit of sanding and sprayed it a little bit here in the shop just to kind of get it touched up a little bit. But uh, I'm going to call that good for the video. I'll probably do some more finishing on it. That's kind of an interesting project. Uh, the propeller moves, the wheels roll, and it's kind of an interesting little little deal. I, mean, uh, I kind of like the way it looks. I you think know, you can get get some real contrast with some different woods. I just used what I had. It could have been better, but I kind of like the way it looks. And it was an interesting little little project. I kind of enjoyed doing that. A lot of cutting, it's a lot of fret work, but I stacked as much as I could. Hey, if you like that, hit the like button. That'll help me out a lot. Help my channel out. And uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It'll also help me out. Uh, this is kind of a different project than what I've been doing. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at some different things. I, I still got some bowls I'm going to make. I've, I've got a video, a book about making bowls using a router along with a scroll saw. But I've got an order, another book ordered from the same author. And it shows how to make the templates, not the templates, but some, uh, some jigs for this router to get these bowls done properly. That's going to be kind of an interesting little process. Uh, it's going to be a big learning process for me. I'm not real great with a the router. They're not complex, but I haven't used one very much. So anyway, I'm going to kind of expand my knowledge a little bit on some of the woodworking tools. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like that, hit the like button, like I say, and uh, hope to see you in the next video.